Okay, next I want to play with adding constraints for bones. So let's create a couple of bones on the screen. And then I'm going to select this bone over here. And then I'm going to add a constraint. So you might remember that we only had transform to rotation. This IK is new. And that is only available with bones. And you might also remember that we have something called a IK pose tool. And that is the one that we use to make the rotation or um, have the bones follow this red dot. So in a similar way, we can add a IK constraint. And if we select the IK constraint, you can select it over there in the inspector or you can select it here. Then we can add a target to it. So first we need to create a target. So a target can be a simple node or for example, it can be a shape. So I, I hit O for ellipse and I'm dragging out a shape and you, you will actually note that this won't work. We're going to say target and then I'm going to select this and it's saying a cycle dependency. So that is because this ellipse is underneath this bone. So if we drag it outside of this um, skeleton and we add it as a target now, then that you can see that this bone is trying to follow this ellipse. So if we hit T, now as we move this, the bone tries to follow it. So obviously there are some very cool constraints or animations that we can do based on this. For example, if you want to animate hands that try and catch a ball as the ball moves to it. Instead of animating both the ball and the hands, you can just animate them in conjunction. And for the IK constraints, you have multiple things. You can, for example, set the strength to not be as strong. And now you can see that it um, doesn't follow it as closely as it, as it would have the previous time. In addition to that, we can also add influence, influence bones. So currently we're only influencing one bone. If we add to the selection, we can make a second bone be influenced. However, that is the limit. This might change, I'm not sure. But um, I understand there are reasons that there is a limit to two bones. I'm just not too sure what that reason is. But either way, um, now you can see that both these bones follow the, um, the IK pose or the target. And you will also note with the IK pose tool, no matter which side you go, you can go left or right. But in this instance, it always just um, goes left. It always rotates anti-clockwise, at least the joint joints bend in this direction. We click IK constraints. You can see that there is an invert direction. So now it will, it will invert the direction to be the opposite way. And, um, I'm not sure why, why it gave that warning. Okay. And then what I want to show you is instead of actually creating like a shape, we can create a simple node as well. And we can have that node be the target. And you will note that Flare actually gives you a pretty nice feature where you can select the node and you can give it a display. It has a display of empty now, but you can make it a target. So this would clearly be a target for something. So that's just a more convenient way that you can um, visualize what this node is and what it's supposed to do once you actually do animation as well.